Hey there, my name is Noah Peters. I'm here again with another video to demonstrate the Vectec autocoupler. Now with traditional manual pallet decoupler processes, the Achilles heel is really giving contamination into your pump or valves from your pallet decoupler when you connect it. We always encourage people to manually clean off your pallet decoupler before you connect it, but that's an arduous process and sometimes it gets skipped in order to become more efficient. So with the autocoupler, we wanted to integrate this blow off cleaning to our pallet receiver to automate the process and make it more resistant to contamination while you're running parts. So as you can see, what we're gonna do is plumb our air blow off hose into this back port on the autocoupler. That's gonna be plumbed through our autocoupler coming out of the guide bushings onto our guide pins. Now these guide pins have grooves machined in them to direct air at each of our coupling elements for our hydraulics and our air pass-throughs as well as our locking pin. So practically speaking, when you set up your system, the sequence of events is gonna be turning on your air blow-off valve, which will help clean it off, then slowly move your slide into position, then before you lock it, you're gonna to wanna to turn the air blow off off and then lock your autocoupler to your pallet receiver, which will let you pass the fluid power from your pump to your clamps on the fixture. We hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the autocoupler's air blow-off system. We really believe that the autocoupler is the missing link to automating your palletized processes. So please feel free to reach out if you want to learn anything more about the autocoupler or anything else we can help you with. Thank you.